Hey gang, Ante Joel, it's real pro BJJ with my buddy Grant. And today we're gonna be doing a technique when uh, you got a buddy and he or she have a great bump, get into an underhook and every time they do, man, they just put you down on a single or a back take. So uh, it's a good time to, nice little tool to have in your back pocket. Also, uh, you know, when you're smaller and you can't hold people down as efficiently, but you kind of get caught up and you're not able to be mobile in the heat of the moment, it's a nice little uh, backup or safety net as well. So here we go. Partners in side control, head this way, feet that way, please. So we're inside, everything was pretty good to begin with, but before we started to attack with a, a, a posture break or breaking, or like getting inside, killing the near side arm or anything, uh, like we showed in prior videos, he bumps and gets an underhook. Now right here, we're kind of going, you can relax. Um, we're going off of, you're slow to react, you can't step over, you can't change landmarks, you can't attack that top side arm. Uh, like I said, you just have a buddy that, man, they're good at this. They keep putting you on their bottom all the time, on your bottom all the time. So here's a route. He bumps as he does and he gets that underhook. I'm hugging and I'm switching to a chin strap. He keeps coming, right to my shin across his belt line. Top leg overhooks to a little chin strap guillotine. My legs are lifting my hips up to be my counterpoint to my point for the actual choke. Let me show you head side angle. So when they bump, go ahead, buddy. and he starts to get that underhook, we're just swimming our head over, grabbing the chin strap. Keep coming, buddy. Connecting our hands, hiding, sorry letting our shin come across the belt line. From here, we adhere to the butterfly hook on this side, because we'd like to keep them on the same side as the choke, and we have our little overhook. For this version of the guillotine, the contact point is the wrist. We are jutting that into the, right next to the windpipe. This is the windpipe here. It's getting jutted right here. Nice little uh, gagging feeling is what this is gonna create a lot of the time. Let me show you a third angle and let you beat. Let's uh, put your head to the over here. He bumps. We switch to here, please. You can always run away a little bit if you need but this is the backstop you're looking to find. He comes in, check, check their progress. Keep them on the same side. If your left hand is lacing the neck, you want them on the left side of your body. Throw in our hook for our choke. Couple of details on the choke. My right arm is lacing. I want the contact point to be on this, the, my right to his body. So it's here. It's not on this side of his neck. It's here. My elbows rode back, and I look for, a lot of times in the choke, you ain't gonna get this uh, during the execution, but you look for a uh, point of control with the upper body to keep them snug. That's your choking arm shoulder along the spine, or a lot of people like the chin on the side of the spine. This hand, the support hand, is just doing that, supporting, cupping, trying to hide the tips of your fingers. So it's just harder to peel, that's all. Just trying to hide. We're uh, elbow short, like a little T-Rex. And then for the choke, I drop my elbow, which drops his head, elevating my wrist. To exaggerate it, it's something like this, but it's hard to exaggerate and not apply the pressure. So I hope this helps. If you're ever in the Cleveland area, please come visit. Sorry, 